this video is coming out on Thursday because I got really busy this week and yeah. Hello and welcome to Assorted Meeples. I'm Philip, the Meeple on Duty, and like I said already, we're unboxing the newest expansion to War Chest, as well as all the other expansions to War Chest, because with the AEG expansion extravaganza, I picked up not just the new one of Nightfall, but I picked up Siege, and I picked up Nobility as well. This is Philip from the end of the video because I forgot to throw in a plug for our Patreon. Just a dollar a month gets you on our Discord server. We are one of the funnest non-toxic gaming communities around. So if you want to join us, head on over to Patreon. There is a link in the description below and sign up. Five dollars a month gets you a guaranteed seat at our monthly board game t tables, which the next Patreon game night is... Friday night, so tomorrow night, the April 12th, and $10 gets you a monthly shout out. So thank you very much. Now back to the regular scheduled programming. A brief description of War Chest. You have cards and chips of your units. The card tells you what the unit can do. The chips are the pieces themselves. They all go in a bag. You shake it up really good like a maraca. And then you reach on your turn, you reach in and you grab a few. I can't remember exactly how many. Then you can pull out or choose to either put it on one of your bases that you have control over or you can set it aside to move units around. And then once those are, uh, you have a discard pile and then you have a dead pile. You don't get to use the dead pile again. You get to use the discard. So goes in, shake it up and move on. Uh, very nice, easy uh, system, though it gets complex in the fighting. You're trying to, you start with, I think two territories and you're trying to take control of at least four. It's been a long time since I read the rules and tried to teach it to Heather, who did not take to it like a duck to water. So I've gotten it to the table once partly, and I really want to play it more, but two-player abstract games sometimes go a little astray for Heather to keep up with. I also have my tea, and I'm quite happy with it. So first, I'm going to open up the expansion and we will show you all the goods here. There's actually not a lot of components to these games and I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure all these should fit into this main box, but we will see if that actually happens. I, I would like it to and I will probably force it to because... I don't like games that take up more than one box. I like the designs of these, that these are meant to look like books sitting on your uh, on your shelf, and they have magnetic flaps that sit nicely. A very good design. So opening it up and looking at it, I have all the cards. That's it, each unit has one card. I have the rules of how they work, and then I have a chip placement in the middle that's it there is an insane amount of dead space in here the knights move in a few different ways and the fun part is if i pull this open and look at it you have one unit card come on where is it so you have the sapper and this will tell you exactly how they can move on the board and their special ability of how they attack and do other things. So the sapper tactic, move and then attack a fortification. Siege tower, attack twice. Trebuchet, 
siege tactic. Attack a unit two or three spaces in a straight line. The intervening space may be occupied by a unit. So you get to shoot over them. The other, and then the war wagon siege tactic, move, move an adjacent friendly unit and then move the war wagon into the vacated space. Oh, that actually just pushed people around a bit. Also, they have the what the chip looks like, and then it has how many chips on the thing as well. Very nice to do, and they also have a when the sapper moves to a location without a fortification, you may place a fortification from the supply on the location. Oh, that's fun. And I do not know what these are. Fortification map cards. Oh, so when you're playing with these, you're going to have fortifications out there. You also have fortification chips in here as well. That is all there is for the siege chest. Now, the nobility is going to be the same. They have, I think it's four units in here. Get it out of the shrink. Again, that very nice box, very nice colors inside. It has more punch outs for you to take control of areas. You have your rules, you have your little bit of cards, and you have one row. You have one row of chips that are now everywhere. That did not go how I wanted it to go. I absolutely adore and love the idea of all these chips as your units. It makes it a very simple and straightforward game to play. Um, just like chip theory games, they are uh, that just make the game. It's a great way to represent your units as a whole. The quality of the chips themselves is really good. They're they're plastic, but they're that poker like heavier poker chip. Like it would, it would be conceivable to replace these with custom ceramic poker chips. These are plastic, but they have that weft, weight and heft to them that I really appreciate. You know what, we're going to move that T and we'll set these up so you can see the names as well. Now, the Nightfall is a littler book, which I appreciate. Means that they're getting away from all that dead wasted space. Let's get in here and see what we have. They also went with a non-magnetic book cover, which is understandable. And... We have our cards for our different units. We have our poison tokens, which are cardboard. And we have all of our chips smashed into three different uh, thingies. Those can go back in and I will show some of those off and some B-roll hopefully has been rolling this whole time. We'll see. Well, I know it'll be there, but I haven't got there yet. The big question is, is whether this all fits in here total. I need to slide this down. Look at that again. This is really great. This is a very deep box. And if I remember correctly, you have all your different bags, the player board, and then your chips, all your chips in here. Oh. Okay, wait a minute, where did those go then? Oh, I have all the unit cards right here. All I have in here is one set of chips, but underneath there is actually quite a bit of dead space. So they anticipated having extra expansions come out. And yes, I know my cards and my extra stuff can fit in there, but I'm pretty sure this is where I say goodbye inserts. And I'm going to slide in these extra 
just pull this out and slide these extra ones in and that should give me the room I need for one two ooh they get so heavy too three oh yeah and I have just the perfect amount of room to get all of this and the board back in. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty tight actually, but nothing terrible. So, that is all of it for War Chest. I'll figure that out in a minute. I might have to go back down to two in there, but there's plenty of room for that. Uh, War Chest is one that I really really appreciate what they're doing and how they're doing it because it boils it down to very simple units you only get like five units i want to say or something like that on your side and once a unit all the chips have been discarded that unit can no longer be drawn from and used and you have to figure out what you're doing when you're attacking and taking for uh, taking the control points and things like that it's a very very good simple abstract strategy game and uh, I really appreciate it so this is by AEG and I really might actually take it to Alaska with me though it's pretty heavy because I think my brothers would really get a kick out of playing this at night after we're done get kids in bed and all that stuff so without further ado i'm going to say goodbye and we will talk to you guys next time if you like what you just saw please support us by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel for more great gaming content